Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode and truly am blessed to have you listening to the show today. Hope you all are doing well. If you're starting your day off, hey, don't forget to pray. Thank God for blessing you with a new day. If you're not a believer, don't wait another day to ask him into your life. Hey, so with that being said, I hope you'll be blessed with what I share with you today. Today, I want to shine the spotlight on some important Bible verses about salvation through Jesus Christ. We're going to start off with Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9 out of the New Living Translation. God saved you by his grace when you believed, and you can't take credit for this. And I'll say that once again, you cannot take credit for this. It's a gift from God, period, point blank. It's a gift. And what do we do at Christmas time? When someone hands us a gift, we open that gift up and we use it, right? We apply that gift to our lives, whatever it might be. So keep that in mind. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. That means you can't brag and say, hey, God saved me. No, it's from God. And I love this verse because it shows you that you cannot work your way to heaven and you cannot work your way through salvation or to salvation. It's all about the love and grace that God the Father has for us. Amen? And 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9 out of the New Living Translation reads, For God saved us and called us to live a holy life. He did this not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan from before the beginning of time to show us his grace through Christ Jesus. Amen. And so today and in the coming weeks, I want to encourage you to turn your life over to Jesus Christ if you have not. And if you have, and if you've walked away or you've backslidden, as they say, to the point where you just have not been involved in the word, you haven't lifted your Bible up, you're not going to church, you're not getting around brothers and sisters in Christ, then you can rededicate your life to Christ. Rededicate your life. Just simply pray. Speak to God what's on your heart. Heavenly Father, I know I've walked away. I know I haven't been living the life you call me to live. And I want to turn my life around and follow Christ. Because I know the only way to you, Heavenly Father, is through Jesus Christ, the Son. So, Lord, restore me, help me, recover, and get back into your word. And it's that simple. You can just speak from your heart. And if you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you repent and turn your life over. Trust me, your life will never be the same, and you will have peace in knowing where you will go when you leave this earth. Please remember, and I've said this before, and I'm going to be saying it again these next messages. I share these messages because of my love for all of you, because God loved us so much that he sent his son. How dare us not love one another? So I have a love for you. I love, I care about you, and I want you to know who Jesus Christ is. So with that being said, let's pray. So, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for being able to share this message and reaching people all around the world. My prayer, as always, is that it reaches those who are lost and hurting and suffering as well, not just believers, but the unbeliever who may be wanting to decide on whether they should come to know you in a greater way or not. I just pray that this message will help them walk closer to you and farther away from worldly living. And I just thank you so much. We pray for all those who are hurting and suffering out there that they will be blessed and helped one day, one day soon rather than later. And I just thank you for all these things. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hey, there you have it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Truly hope you're blessed with what I shared. I just ask that you do me a favor, that call to action where you share my episode, share the Spiritual Spotlight podcast with friends and family and even strangers. Hey, with that being said, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Be safe.